For those of you that follow my channel, you may be aware that I have a 4-in-1 arcade which includes Golden T2020, Silver Strike Bowling, Power Putt, and Target Toss. I'll leave a description to that video where I show that off in the comments below. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is it laying here on the ground? Because I'm converting this upright cabinet into a pedestal. I firmly believe there's only two ways to play these types of games. The best, on a pedestal. The second way is on an original large cabinet with the slanted screen so you can ram your hand as fast and as far as you want without hitting the monitor, unlike some of these other models you'll see out there. Now I've already cut one side here. The cut went fairly smoothly. I'm very happy with the first side that I did. And once I did that, I said, hey, why not make a video on this and uh, show everybody what I'm doing here. We're gonna have to flip it over, cut the other side, do a couple more steps to make this look good. And then we should be good to go with a conversion from an upright to a pedestal cabinet. Let's do it. I decided to use a jigsaw on this cut taking it nice and slow to make sure I get a straight line. Could have used a circular saw with a guide, uh, but I went with the jigsaw route. After making the second cut, the top half of this upright cabinet would be detached. Now there's no marquee on a pedestal, but I did want to save this marquee. I'm going to cut it and then uh, use it as a decoration in my game room. I'm also going to have to take out that speaker panel that you see in there and add it to the pedestal. Putting the pedestal upright, you notice it's a little short. I do have a flush riser that goes with this cabinet to raise it up to a normal height. Now you'll see I'm taking the speaker panel out right now and you'll see how I'm going to install that on to the pedestal in a little bit. It's not going to be in a, the normal spot you would see on these newer pedestal versions of Golden Tea from Incredible Technologies, but the way I designed it worked pretty well. Now I will have to make some modifications here. You'll see I'm missing the T-molding groove. I will have to cut that to get the T-molding all the way around. I also wanted to save the instructions for Silver Strike Bowling or basically the button setup for Silver Strike Bowling. So I'm going to save that from the plexiglass bezel I had. And then I'm gonna put the speaker panel right behind that right there where the arrow is. Cutting the plexiglass, most people will tell you to use a razor blade or a plexiglass cutting blade and keep running it down the plexiglass. I use a table saw as long as you have a high teeth count blade, you take it slow, you'll get a nice clean cut of your plexiglass. You gotta have high quality plexiglass too as well, or it may just chip all over the place. You can see that looks pretty good right after cleaning it up. I did wanna make one adjustment to the speaker panel. It was originally wrapped with black vinyl. I wanted to change that to laminate. Laminate just looks better in the long run and it'll hold up over time better. So I glued that laminate on. I had to drill holes for where the speaker holes were through the laminate. You always use another board underneath so you don't chip uh, the laminate on the other side and you should get clean holes cut through that laminate if you do it this way. I then get my router and trim the laminate off. When all said and done, it would look great. A little bit of glue on there, I can get off and clean it up, but it uh, looks much nicer than vinyl wrap. After I attach the Silver Strike bowling button layout piece, as well as the speaker panel, it was time to do the T-molding. I initially used the wrong size bit and made the groove too wide. There's two sizes you normally use, 1 16th and 3 30 seconds, and I accidentally used the wrong one. But there's a workaround to that if you ever have loose T molding or use the wrong size bit. You can put tape on the tongue of the T molding. Most people use friction tape. I used duct tape here, and it'll give you some extra, extra width to that tongue, which will uh, allow that T molding to grip inside that groove. Once I finished up the other side, I'd simply have to put all the internals back in and we'd be ready to go. When it was all said and done, it would look like this. 
Now let's test it out and see how it works. All right, well, it's time to test it out. But for all you kids at home with your Arcade 1UP Golden Tees, don't try this at home. You might hurt yourself or break your Arcade 1UP. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> 